Eric Bowling is an extremely stupid person. He is not quite as dumb as Kilmeade, but he's up there. And in some ways, I actually think his sort of aggressive stupidity is a even better compliment to the Trump administration's clown fascist belligerent incompetence um, than, you know, the chief propagandist, Sean Hannity. Yeah. Uh, Eric Bowling is like a buffalo that you turn into a human and made watch Fox News. <laughs> the perfect description of Eric Bowling. Here he is on ABC's This Week. He's talking about the real victim of modern politics. It's not buying. The Democrats did change one sixth of the economy. They Three hundred and fifty amendments now from Republican. Here's here's the problem. Uh, President Trump was betrayed by by House leadership and Senate leadership. Uh, Paul Ryan promised a bill that not only he could get passed through his chamber, but one that Americans g- could get behind. Well, wait a second. He Paul Ryan either. wanted to, re- to repeal and then wait a couple of years to come up with a replacement. It was okay. the president who so insisted this, on doing both. No, well, this, that is back on the table. Uh, Senator Rand Paul says, let's do the repeal only right now and replace down. Clean repeal. He doesn't have the votes. First, McConnell doesn't have the votes. For some reason, I can't understand. There are three senators, Portman, uh, Murkowski, Capito, who are, who are against this. Meanwhile, they voted in favor of this in 2015 to clean repeal, work to re-establish re, uh, re, uh, a health care plan. Why are, they, why are they now against something that they were so in favor of a year and a half ago? There's plenty of blame to go around among Republicans. But Okay, so basically Eric Bowling is, again, obviously the perfect that is a distilled version of the whining that Trump has been doing on Twitter. Of course, they've all been lying the whole time. Paul Ryan said before the election, yeah, we have a plan in place and it will be great. He did his actual version of we have a plan and it will be great, except he didn't uh, lie about everybody being covered because he knew that that would be completely implausible because, of course, his entire purpose in public life is making sure that most people don't have things like health insurance. But then, when they were going to wheel out repeal only, Donald Trump, of course, in the first days of the administration transition, said, it's going to be introduced simultaneously. Basically, immediately. It's going to be immediately. It could be within an hour, perhaps. (laughs) And he did a great job of completely effing them on their repeal alone plan. And what has happened in the last several months is that first you had to see Republicans work to create something that would actually replace Obamacare. They created things that were so hideous, impractical, and utterly morally grotesque that they might have even been worse than what was before Obamacare, which now everybody realizes, of course, was a completely untenable crisis to have over 40 million Americans without health insurance. Now we go back to just repeal alone. And then Trump's actual correct initial political instincts kick in again, which is that, wait a second. You're just going to kick tens of millions of people off their health insurance. And all of a sudden, if you had a disease, you're not going to be protected anymore. And there's no standards in the health insurance industry. And we're just back to complete Wild West nonsense that only benefits a incredibly narrow, parasitic, and completely useless industry that provides absolutely no public value. That's what we're going to do. And Trump actually thought to himself in his own dumb base way, That doesn't sound like a good plan. How about my everything's fantastic plan? The problem is, is that when you made it that Republicans needed to come up with replace, the American people got to see the Republican policy thought process at work for a couple of months, which is actually even more terrifying than simply repeal. So they all effed up because they all have no choice but to F up because they're all either stupid and or utter moral monsters. And that's why Eric Bowling, in his robust stupidity, is the perfect person to whine about it on ABC's This Week, even though not having me on is, of course, a violation of my freedom of speech. Dave Rubin, tweet about it, please. He was clearly out of his depth there. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Like, Yeah, I don't know. Was, I, I saw it was a bowling clip, and I saw ABC This Week, and I don't know. He, he can handle himself on Fox News, but that's a bit of a big stage for him. Yeah, I think... It, well, you know what I like about it is you notice the way he said it like a kid in school where he was just like, and now Senator Rand Paul has said. Yeah. Like, he had that whole, like, so I'm giving full titles. I'm giving full titles. He, he never... He never. He just ignored that 
uh, when Stephanopoulos brought up that Trump made them do that basically simultaneously. He's like, well, but Rand Paul said this, so we're going to ignore that Trump completely effed us. <laughs> Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.